standard terrain, the effect tab. You know that some of these erosion effects we do apply it um, in previous with paint. However, you can work with the global effect as well. So example, right here we have some effect to erosions or rocks. You can do same things with the gravel, pebbles, stones. So you can apply some of this effect. As well as we looked before, you can constrain to the clipping area if you need it. Or you also can paint materials as you apply effect. So for example, if we enable playing materials and we're going to um, say terminal effect. So you'll notice if we apply select specific material, it will apply to that as well. Okay, so let's go to effect. Completion, so its effect will apply with material. Overall, we have a diffuse, which is smooth out. Thermal effect. Glaciers, which is kind of eating in. Wind. Dissolve. Aluminum. Parable and river. So it's different type effects. Some of them will take a uh, limit longer as well. That do effect also on the resolution as using the higher resolution, the longer time it will take it. So you also have a global effects. How we said before, grid, pebbles, gravel, stones. You can create peaks, more terraces, stairs, fir tree. If you remember, I kind of says from, if you do this from far away, surprisingly, but those peaks will look like trees. And if you apply material, for them as the green kind of fir tree, so they will create quite a bit look far away. Okay, we can sharpen, add the craters, and maybe add cracks to this. So you can modify. You can multiple time click or you just click and hold down, and that will apply effect all the time. So in this way, it's allowed you to some modification to standard terrains. Uh, some of this is kind of limited what it can do or it take more time. So personally, in many cases, I prefer to use it sometimes different application, create high map, um, high field maps, what you saw before, and apply them maybe as a beginning or a DIM map and work this way. Uh, one thing to kind of notice many times when we're creating new terrains and all the settings won't be remembered with some exception. So let me show you. So, for example, we have a terrain. We go and create a new terrain. Right click. Let's go edit object. And you notice it looks somewhat similar to before. Even we kind of created new ones, but it still remember. And the reason is why some of these options, even the seed number is remember. However, this altitude, it does remember from all standard terrain. So if you modify it and you notice it's kind of does not look, does not reset, be sure you can go back and reset these properties to the original values if you need it. So we can go, for example, right here. So I can go ahead and reset to original values as I wanted. And in this case, when I create new, it will accept it. So some small things to kind of remember. Overall, we'll look on some properties. Don't afraid that you may be lost with some of this or don't remember. Overall, we just look in the details, but the best way to remember when we start work on a projects or how I said before, check the um, Epic Landscape tutorials where we work with it directly projects to create different sceneries. And then you will start familiarize more with what tools does and how you can use them.